you guys. Welcome to another episode of Ampro Engineering and I've been here a long time at the track. We're at NorCal Raceways in San Jose, California and we're going to take Project Poison Dart out for a spin. So I've actually been running uh, basically all the cars today. So Superfly's been out, Superfly 2's been out, the King Cap's been out, they've all been out. So this is the last one I'm going to run today. And uh, I'm got some pretty high hopes for this car because obviously Project Mud Blaster has got the same suspension setup so I think that we're going to see about the same performance. Of course this car has got a more powerful motor, it's got a better center of gravity so I think this is going to be absolutely off the hook so I'm going to stop talking and put on this magnificence here. He gets all the ladies. Nope, sorry, my fault. So loud. Oh, 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 come on. Oh. Thank you.
Uh oh, we lost. We lost a steering. Oh, this thing twisted. Oh dear. Oh, I can't fix that here. Can't fix that here. That's all right. But oop. I do apologize that that video was cut a little bit short. I didn't bring any tools with me to the track, and uh, this this knuckle here, if I can show it to you, came loose. And I was both out of time and had no way of repairing it, so I just, I called it a day. But the real question is, you know, how did it run? And I have to say that the Frog was never a terrible RC car. The, this one here I'd run quite a lot, and unfortunately these modern clay tracks do tend to stress out the older cars because they simply weren't developed for surfaces like that. But the car always ran as, you know, a frog would run. This one here, on the other hand, now that we do have the revised rear suspension, kind of like, well, it's exactly the same as Project Mud Blaster as well as the rear wing mount, um, the car's rear suspension was awesome it was predictable it landed jumps beautifully uh, the acceleration was awesome there was no weird squat of the rear end uh, under hard turning it, it ran like a champ unfortunately the modifications to the front end the shock towers as well as these uh, 116th scale shocks from hsp were not enough the car almost felt like there was one car at the back and one car at the front and the car at the front had to be thrown into the recycling bin it just i mean it was infinitely better than it used to be but these rear end modifications really highlight the fact that the front end needs work so i wasn't planning on this but i do have to dig a little bit deeper in this front end and see what i can do here i mean i don't know if i can Oof. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what at all to do with this front end. Um, I have some ideas, um, and you know me. I, I try not to make modifications that require cutting. Unlike, of course, Superfly 2.0, which um, you know you do have to chop the transmission in half. But we'll forget about that. I have some ideas of of increasing the. Uh, the length of the upper and lower control arms uh, while keeping the wheel track the same. I, I'm a very big fan of keeping the car's basic dimensions consistent. So as much as I could widen the front end by two inches, um, that's not how I roll. I, I want to make sure the car stays as stock looking as possible. And I think that I can make some modifications up front that would in fact allow that. So I have some plans, but right now the interior for the to me a Blackfoot and the new chassis for the Sand Scorcher are pushed ahead. Overall though, I was quite happy with the car and I was really focusing with the rear end and I totally love the look. The, the paint scheme I think was a very safe choice with the blue chassis and speaking of the blue chassis, I just love it. It's so, I think it looks really, really nice. It really, really kind of changes the overall appearance of the frog. I'm always used to that brownish gray chassis and uh, this is kind of new. So the body is not completely detailed yet. There are some things that have to be done, but we are working on that. I've got some new fog lights that are designed for the Hornet, the Frog, the Grasshopper. It's the standard Tamiya looking ones with one major difference. So those will be, uh, those will be covered very soon. I also wanted to mention that we will be having a review or I should say a buyer's guide video on the Panda Cyclone, AKA Mugen Manx very very soon there is a youtube subscriber that has been a very squeaky wheel about having this car reviewed and it is definitely a car that i should have done many many months ago as relatively little is known about the panda cyclone and mugen manx i say them synonymously because i feel that both cars are nearly identical in fact i think they are absolutely identical that the car was just licensed by Mugen to uh, to build this to build the Manx versus the Cyclone. So this will be coming up within the next couple of videos. I hope you enjoyed this video on Project Poison Dart. It's you know it, it turned into a little bit more than I anticipated, um, but it, it's been really kind.
kind of a neat project. There are some upgrades coming soon for the frog in general, like the wing mount not needing the entire rear suspension. And I also wanted to mention that this rear suspension was designed in a particular way from the beginning, and that was so that the stock wheels and tires would fit inside here. And it is a tight fit, but I did manage to get them in there. So that was one of the questions people had was to why the arm is so short versus why the hub sticks out so far. And this is the reason here. It was always designed so that the frog could have its stock wheels and tires. Anyway, I will stop talking. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you take off, please check out the band Blue Pinto. They're the ones that allow me to use their songs in my videos. And a link to not only their page, but also my Shapeways page can be found in the end credits, as well as in the description. You can add me on Instagram and Facebook at Ampro Engineering on both. And please stay tuned for lots and lots of future videos. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.